So I went to put my table down and does anybody see a problem here? Are you <laughs> kidding me? Oh, that's so frustrating. It's like half an inch proud of that post. Maybe. <laughs> oh, that's so frustrating. I do not want to cut that beautiful live edge. I was like, uh, well, don't know if I got any other options at this point. I definitely need to be able to put that table down and I really like this <sighs> firewood thing. Damn it. I guess I could probably scoot that over maybe a bit. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, eh? My hinge stops about an inch and a quarter. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah, problem solved. No problem, eh? Take off. The marine layer is slowly burning off. It's the blue skies and sunshine. Emerge amidst the hiss of fresh cedar boughs on the fire. Today is a good day. That is all. Hey guys, welcome to a beautiful day at the lake. So I've got this big mother stump here that I've got to deal with. Looks like the neighbors are here. Boat. So this is an old yellow cedar stump and I want to do away with it obviously. Um, so there's some core rot in the middle which means the, water, the wood's all rotten down into the core which means that hopefully it's not that dense it's mostly kind of soft in the middle. So I'm going to try and do kind of like a Swedish fire log kind of thing and I'm taking my chainsaw and kind of plunging some cuts from the outside here as low down as I can to try and cut the chainsaw into that rotten section, right? Which would allow air to get up in there. Because um, obviously with a 20 inch bar, I don't have any drill bits that are 20 inches long. And then I'm gonna light a fire. I might cut out a bit of a notch in here. And then I'm just gonna light a fire because you can see how like, soft all this is right it's just kind of crumbly so it's wet but I think it'll dry out pretty quick if I get some good heat on there and then the fire will just burn down into the stump because there's air coming in from underneath kind of drawing the coals down into the middle of the stump and then it probably won't burn it out entirely but it'll uh, hopefully break up the stump into smaller sections which then I could dig out or uh the neighbor's going to be bringing a machine in here in the next couple of months and I'm hoping to be able to use it for one day and, you know, dig this stump out and just kind of clean stuff up around here and get prepped for building a big party deck. Well, I think those Swedes might be on to something because the last stump was about the same size as this, but it took me four and a half days to burn. 
It's an insane amount of wood. And this is not even a full day of burning from the inside out. So I packed this thing. It was, you know, it was kind of concaved. I just piled a bunch of wood. I stuck a big round on it, like, so that it would just slowly burn and, like, fall into the middle, which it obviously did because, yeah, it burned, I don't know, three times as much as of the wood. There was, none of this was hollow. And you could see I plunged, I plunged holes into the, down the root legs. And you could see, like, with the chainsaw, the air, once the, the wood burned down, it, it drew it down the roots. See, look, there's like a tunnel going down this main large root right here that goes over top of this rock because I plunged a, a hole in it with the chainsaw, right? And then the air just draws the fire down each leg of the root. Like this stump is mostly burned out, I think. I'm just going to pile a bunch more wood in here now and just... Hopefully just take down these two sections here. I'm pretty sure like the ground is right underneath here. So there's definitely some more wood in the ground for sure, but to get it burned down to flush so that I could probably break it apart with a machine, dig it out, that's pretty awesome in one day. The Swedish fire log technique is by far superior to just burning a stump with insane amounts of wood. Okay? Those Swedes. Svank Sven. Danke Sven. So this is after day two of burning. It's pretty much gone. <laughs> now there's there's still some sections that I think go down deeper into the ground there. So there's like obviously a bit of a root there. This little part here is still pretty solid. So that probably goes down there. But the core has been burned out, right? So digging up those little sections shouldn't be too much of a problem. It's amazing how the fire just worked its way all the way down this big root here that was growing over top of I think there's a big rock there burned it right down there's still some going into the ground there but traveled quite a distance so definitely uh, twice as fast or more at burning up stumps using the inside out Swedish fire log method My little mink hair. I didn't know they swam so much. 
He was just up in my boat. Oh, there he goes. with this 40 volt. What the hell is that? Look at this, overcut my line. What a freaking noob. Jeez, losing my edge here, guys. At least it's a deck. It's inside the cabin, I'll be ripping it out. guy makes me look like a hack. <clears throat> Talk about a hard day's work. Your life from sunrise to sunset is just smashing bark and wood with your beak and your head all day, every day. You want to eat? Yeah. Go drill 50 holes and you might find a couple bucks. You can see the tracks, the track marks that he's leaving down the, he goes down in rows, the whole length of the log, both this log and that log, every, you know, four inches from end to end, there is just a row of holes, maybe half an inch apart. Like the guy has been over these logs hundreds of times, just looking for more bucks, like all the way around the tree hammering all day no headache like talk about well engineered it's also pretty cool to note that i'm enjoying watching this woodpecker find his dinner while just finishing my dinner inside a what's it called solar heated cabin it's like toasty warm in here from the sun passing through here today. No fire lit. Sun is set, still cozy warm. An absolutely gorgeous day today. Just feeling so blessed, so happy, so 
who I've always thought myself to be or felt I was inside. It's it's really weird. I've been out here for <clears throat> a week tomorrow just by myself the whole time and man talk about just awakening your soul finding yourself all those kind of cliche things like I'm starting to get it now and something inside me knew like my whole life that this was what I was here for oh, that's really weird but, like, this, this is home for me, man. Man. Feels so alive out here. It's crazy. Well, it was not easy getting this thing up here, but I did it with the power of fist. Actually, more like the power of my back, but, um, well, picked this thing up at Princess Auto, and I don't know why I didn't get one sooner. I've only had one job box up here, and clearly way too many tools, so this will allow me to kind of organize things. Stuff's just starting to get scattered under all the benches and shelves and under cabins and just random places so this will give me a little bit more peace of mind knowing that stuff is organized and kind of locked up safe and out of the weather which is good so like i'm just sitting here smoking my pipe in a toasty cabin built by my own hands watching a gorgeous sunset on one of the most beautiful lakes that I've ever seen in my entire life. Wow. I wish you were here, guys. And hey, who knows? Maybe you can all come visit. <laughs>